You all right there, Scarlett? <laughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome to the June edition of What I Eat in a Day Mediterranean Diet. The foods that are in season for June are salad greens are really at their peak right now. And there are lots of fresh herbs available for seasoning our foods. And things like peas and string beans and fennel and cherries are in season right now. They're really at their peak. So tonight for dinner, we're going to make a tomato bruschetta pizza because the tomatoes are really starting to get nice and ripe right now. And what I mean by a bruschetta pizza is we're not gonna use a tomato sauce on the pizza. We're gonna kind of make a base of olive oil and put a little cheese, and then we're gonna cover the top with the tomato bruschetta. It's so fresh and it's just so delicious. Wait till you see how we make it. And I think we're gonna go to the farmer's market right now and try to see how many different colored things we can put in a crazy salad for lunch because all the salad things are at their peak right now, like I said. And we're gonna to try to make a crazy blowout lunch salad with as many colors and as much nutrition as we can pack into it. So come along for the journey today. <laughs> Scarlett loves her chin rubs. breakfast we're having one of these little fruit flavored fromage snacks. I get these at Whole Foods. They're a product of France and they're a little cheese snack with some fruit in it. They're tiny but very delectable. They're a nice little snack for breakfast and I put together this beautiful fruit plate. Cherries are in their peak season in June and look how dark and wonderful these look. And we have some blueberries and peaches are just coming into their own and we filled out the plate with some sliced banana. So that is breakfast. I promised you a big, beautiful, colorful salad for lunch. So I have some mixed greens here. I mix some arugula, which looks like this. I love arugula, it has a spicy, peppery flavor. Some iceberg for some crunchiness and some red and green leaf lettuce. I have an Italian baguette here from the bakery sliced up because I love to have bread with my salad. And I made a bunch of colorful fixings so we can just pull these in as we see fit. What we have here is some purple cabbage, some red onion, some sliced radish, a sliced tomato, a yellow tomato. I did some slivers of a carrot and we have some cucumber and some avocado. And I'm gonna make a dressing where I just squeeze on some lemon juice and some extra virgin olive oil, a little salt and pepper. And I love to put oregano on my salad. So we're gonna dress the salad. I'm gonna put on some salt, some freshly cracked pepper, some oregano. Lemon juice, a little extra virgin olive oil, and then I'm just going to pull on the flavors as I want to eat them. Buon appetito! Well, here's my salad ready. I took a little bit of everything. I want the nutrition that comes with each color of these different foods. Who wouldn't want to eat like this all the time? Yum.
For the bruschetta pizza, I bought these pre-made pizza shells in the supermarket. And I got them in the bakery department of the supermarket. Now I could make my own pizza dough, but you know, I really don't have time to do that. And I think that most of you probably don't have time to do that either. So what I do is I try to buy pizza crust that has the least amount of ingredients in it. So when I flip this over, it doesn't really have a lot of bad ingredients. It has water, double zero flour, some olive oil, some yeast. It's really the basic ingredients of pizza dough. And it also says it's made only with non-GMO ingredients. And on the front, it even says that it's vegan. So this is a good alternative to making your own pizza dough. You wanna be careful about buying some of the popular brand names that sell pre-made dough that have a lot of unpronounceable ingredients. Usually if you go to the bakery section, you can find some better choices. is combine some garlic with some olive oil and some spices and that makes a nice sauce for the top of the pizza and then we're going to add some Italian cheese you can use any kind of pizza cheese that you like then we bake the pizza in the oven the bruschetta is a combination of tomatoes onion garlic we're going to add a little bit of fresh basil that we picked from the garden I wish you could smell this if we only had smell of vision it smells so fresh and then when the pizza's done, we're gonna spoon the bruschetta all over the top of it. And then we stick it in the broiler for just a minute, just so the tomatoes get a little bit warm, but we're not gonna cook them all the way through. We want them to stay fresh and super juicy, fresh from the garden. For the tomato bruschetta, I have half of the onion chopped up in here. There are two garlic cloves chopped up, three tomatoes, some of the basil, I'm adding some pepper. Pretty good amount of salt. Some oregano, quite a bit. And extra virgin olive oil. We're going to mix this up. And this is our bruschetta topping. For the garlic mixture, I have two cloves of garlic diced up. I'm going to add some of this Cento Italian seasoning. and some extra virgin olive oil. And just stir that up. We're gonna spread this all over the pizza. So now we're gonna spread the garlicky olive oil mixture all over this pizza crust. Now that we have that all over the top, we're gonna to put the pizza cheese. Now you can put as little or as much of this as you want. I don't put a lot. Just enough to give it a light coating. And now we're gonna bake this in a 425 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes, depending on your oven. First stage out of the oven, now we're gonna add the bruschetta all over the top. Now we're going to switch the oven over to the broiler and put this in just for one or two minutes. Really keep an eye on it because the broiler can work fast. We just want to get it a little bit warm. Well, here's the bruschetta pizza fresh out of the oven. 
All you need to do is slice it and serve it up. Thank you for joining me for the June edition of What I Eat in a Day Mediterranean Diet. I hope you enjoyed this month's recipes, and if you try them for yourself, take some pictures and put them in the comment section below. I would love to see what you do with it as well. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye!